Good afternoon, everybody, or morning, or whenever you're watching this, but uh, welcome to another edition of uh, the Scoop Duck Daily, or Semi-Daily, or whatever it's, it's, it is. Uh, today's Wednesday. Hump Day! Uh, yeah, I always thought that was the stupidest thing to say about Wednesday, but it's funny, and it's catchy. So, uh, anyways, let's, uh, let's do the old good news, bad news, right? Uh, I always feel like maybe good news first softens the bad news i don't know good news first uh the transfer portal window has officially opened uh at the moment as i'm recording this oregon hasn't uh, sent anybody in uh we heard dan lanning make comments to you know which i said already you know oregon's gonna be selective here if at all right it's gonna have to be the right fit it's got to be the right guy uh we won't see i don't there there's virtually no way that we're gonna see oregon you know, pursuing 10 guys in the transfer portal this spring. Uh, it's going to be quality, not quantity. So, you know, maybe, maybe a guy, maybe two, maybe three, if it's the right, right fit uh, for what Oregon needs, because there's a number of things in play here. First, first and foremost, you know, you don't want to risk bringing somebody in and chasing off one of your guys. That doesn't help you. Okay. A, a plus one and then a minus two, you're down one. Okay, I can do math. So that's that's what you got to look out for there. It's got to be the right character fit. If you've got a great room, let's say the running back room is great. They're in a great space. They've got leadership. They've got everybody buying in and you bring in somebody else and, and, and it throws a wrench into that whole room. It's not worth it. It's absolutely not worth it. I don't care what the production is. It's not worth, you know, basically souring that room. So first things first, I guess, you know, Jacoby Matthews was a former five star uh, coming out of high school, he's a safety at Texas A&M, uh, would, would come to Oregon potentially or wherever uh, as a junior. So you could potentially get two seasons out of the, out of Matthews. Probably going to be one of the most coveted players in the spring transfer window. I could see Oregon making a play here based on relationship, uh, based on need. You know, just it, it seems like something that's that's a fit and it feels like something Oregon has had their finger on. Uh, you know, they've had their finger on that pulse for a little bit. So, again, as we know, with some of these high profile guys, when they go into the transfer portal window, they tend to have a pretty good idea of the school or two or three schools that they're really high on or interested in. And, and right now it looks like it's Oregon and Florida State for Matthews. And, and I think that's one Oregon fans should very much pay attention to. At the moment, I'm not necessarily sure that there are any others in the portal yet that Oregon is probably all that serious about, but that doesn't mean that couldn't change. Okay. I mean, I think it was, we're only basically two days into the transfer portal window and we've got a couple weeks left. Uh, so by no means does anybody have to jump in the portal today. Had a pretty good group of, of elite schools that held their spring games this past Saturday. You know, so those guys would probably be ones to watch from, Alabama, Florida, Tennessee, some of the others that held spring games, but those guys having spring ball done. Uh, we'll get another slew of teams that will have spring games this weekend. Uh, so you can see another wave early next week based on what happens there. And then, of course, Oregon has its spring game in two weeks. So that's kind of what to watch for there. Uh, good news, though, Oregon is probably in the top two at the very least for what will be one of the one of the top uh, safeties in the transfer portal window. Bad news. Here it comes. As you well know, Dalen Austin was arrested, uh, charged with a hit and run. You know, I, I do recall one of the greatest things about Chip Kelly when in his time at Oregon. He, you know, he'd say two things, right? Okay. And th these were great chips, you know, chipisms, whatever. Living in Eugene's like living in a fishbowl, right? I mean, you're in a glass fishbowl. You're the goldfish. Everybody can see you, you know, so when news like this comes out, it's a big deal, right? Everybody is well aware of it uh, because you're an Oregon duck. It's going to gain some national headlines. And what we have right now is just further proof in, in what feels like a somewhat broken system at times that uh, almost Austin's presumed guilty until proven innocent. That's what it feels like. Um, I wasn't there. Nobody watching this was there. Nobody watching this is is part of the investigation. OK, so right now we're all just basically taking the information that we're being given or that's leaking out 
and making assumptions. That's what we're doing is making assumptions. Okay. We got to let this thing run its course. I, I'm not saying that Austin's innocent. I'm not saying that he shouldn't be charged. I'm not saying that this isn't a terrible incident because it is, as we know, there was a fatality involved. Um, but because there was a fatality involved doesn't necessarily mean that Austin's automatically guilty of anything. Again, we need to see what the investigation produces. I don't know what that will be. I'm not a fortune teller and neither are you. Okay. So if you want to jump on your Facebook or your Twitter or whatever and say, Oh, lock him up or whatever. Well, put yourself in Dalen Austin's shoes. Maybe he's sitting at home thinking I didn't do anything wrong. And potentially that could be correct. I mean, for all we know, we're hearing some reports of there being a hammer and possible incident before that. And some other things are continuing to come out. I'm not confirming any of those things happen. I'm reading the same reports you guys are. And I'm just kind of letting things flow in. I'm not making an assumption that he is innocent or that he is guilty. Okay. Again, let's let this thing play out. I'm just cautioning some of you guys. You know, Chip was really good about getting on uh, with the media. If something happened when he was a coach at Oregon, say, hey guys, I'm not really commenting anything. Basically, this player is currently just suspended from activities. Once we gather all the information, once the investigators give us all the information, we'll make our determination on that player's future with us. That's really all we can wait for. So um, I, I guess if you're a religious person, maybe, maybe praying for a great resolution here, whatever that might be. Uh, if you're not a religious person, I would just caution just using some sensibility, just use some common sense, put yourself in their shoes. What if Dalen Austin was your son? Okay. What if Dalen Austin's your son and you're reading all the stuff about him, maybe knowing some completely different facts, how would that make you feel as, as a father or uncle or brother or whatever the case might be? So I guess, uh, yeah, like I said, just use some common sense. Let's let these guys do their thing. Let's see how this comes out. Uh, and then of course we can react accordingly with, you know, assuming that there's been a proper investigation and, th and that they've given us all the, the facts and information at that time. That's it. That's plenty. That's a pretty heavy scoop duck daily. I'm over seven minutes. It's hump day. Uh, let's hope for some good news, some resolution on that matter, some good news in the transfer portal and some good news in recruiting. And as always go ducks.